Let's look at this. Can you do it? If you cannot, don't worry. I will break it down. We are asked to simplify this. First of all, let's work on the numerator. To work on this, we factorize. First of all, you multiply this to have 24. You ask yourself, what are the two values? If I multiply them, remember this is minus 24 because 2 multiplied by this is minus 24. Okay? You now ask yourself, what are those two values? If I multiply them, I will have minus 24. And if I had them, I have minus 5. We are going to check. If I do 2 times 6, if I do 4 times 6, although it will give me 24, but there's no way to give me this. I will do 12 times 2. Cannot do anything too. I will do 8 times 3. Ah, oh, I'm getting there. 8 times 3 will give me 24. And there's something I can do to get this. That is 8 minus 3. But we need to consider the signs. Therefore, because this one is minus 5, I'm going to put minus here, then I put plus here. It means minus 8 times plus 3 and minus 8 plus 3. It means if I multiply this, I'm going to have minus 24. And if I bring this together, minus 8 plus 3, I'm going to have minus 5. Therefore, the two values are minus 8 and plus 3. So we are coming back to this place and to say 2x minus 8s plus 3s minus 12. We are replacing this with these two. Minus 8s plus 3x. Okay? So with this now, we come for the denominator. What is common between these two? You will agree with me if you look at it very well. If you investigate this, is 2 raised to power 2, s raised to power 2, minus 3 raised to power 2. This will give us 4. This is still the same. This will give us 9. We cannot write this as coming together, this. Now, this is not like a square minus b square, which is a minus b, a plus b. So all we need to do now is to come here now and use this two by saying this is 2x minus 3 and 2s plus 3. You got it? This now is like this. We are simply using this and this, then we put minus a plus a between them to get the final result. I have done this. Let's go back to the numerator. What is common between these two? You agree with me? Two is common. S is also common. What is remaining here when you remove this is x. What is remaining here is, that is 8s divided by 2x, you're going to have 4. That is minus 4. You repeat this, s minus 4. What you put outside here now is plus 3 to get this 2. This multiplied by this, you have this. This multiplied by this, you have this. All over 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. Let's continue. We take this at this, 2x plus 3, x minus 4. Then we repeat this again. Now, we can cancel. This, we cancel this. We now have s minus 4 over 2s minus 3. Okay? So now, as you can see, we have this answer. s minus 4 over 2s minus 3. 